Hello. Um, I'm not having fun with this. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing well at all. Uh, I'm sure most of us aren't. Uh, I'm really kind of perturbed that everybody immediately started making content. You know, seeing all these fucking Facebook lives and shit, and I'm like, you know, I thought that I would be making hella content when this all started too. And then uh, the world was like, no, bitch, no, you get to, you get to have a week-long panic attack, psychotic breakdown. That's what you get to have. Yep. So I think I might finally be uh, getting on the other side of it, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's been a fucked up couple of weeks, two weeks, five days. I don't really know. Um, my perception of time is just diminished to nothing. Uh, I definitely didn't prepare or do all of the things I was supposed to do as soon as I was supposed to do them. Uh, so there's that. I I have been on uh, some drug benders in the past couple of days. I have been um, in some ethical, ethical battles. Uh, I, I have not seen any hope on the other side, I, I have mourned the loss of like my life, and I've also given up on my hopes and dreams. Um, it's fucked up. It's fucked up because this time last year, my grandma died. My grandma died, and last year was its own fucking emotional hellscape journey. And it left me. It like it. It totally ended up in me just moving to fucking Seattle to try to start a new life for myself. And I really, like, was working so hard and had just gotten to that point. I just found the most perfect job for me. Like, my dream job, this bar I love, they were like, come work for us, we love you. And then they were like, oh my god, do a comedy show here. We want you to do a comedy show here. Let us buy you a PA system. Let's do this, like, tomorrow. Let's get this shit on the ro on the roll and like I just started feeling like you know I I have established myself here I have friends I have connections people are gonna let me do stuff I'm in a cool cool spot and for the first time in my whole life it felt like I I am achieving getting my life together and this is amazing this is the most liberating feeling I've ever had in my whole life I never thought that I would actually be able to fucking pull it together and get this far and then and then they just it just gets taken like in one fell swoop because yeah I lost my fucking job um did not work long did not work there long enough to qualify for any sort of unemployment um yeah I'm an artist nobody buys my fucking art I don't have a following okay yeah Bandcamp waived their revenue that they take out yesterday and nobody bought any of my shit on fucking Bandcamp. It's fine. I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm not making my living as an artist and now I'm unemployed. I can't get unemployment. Shit's at the fan. Okay. So what do you do? What do you do when all the shit hits the fan? You go on a drug bender. You go on a drug bender and you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. I'm going to make so much fucking art. I'm going to start a podcast about polyamory. We're going to do a bunch of LSD. We're going to do LSD recordings about polyamory in our acid palace quarantine. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And it's going to be great. It's going to be so great. And then, I don't know. I did, uh, I did other drugs. I did other drugs and I recorded an episode, uh, now that I haven't touched yet, because I don't know shit. I don't know shit about having a podcast, all right? I guess I'll figure it out in quarantine, maybe. I don't know. It's weird. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm the fucking queen of, of cabin fever art projects. And all of a sudden, I'm just like, I don't even care. What's the fucking point? I've given up on all my hopes and dreams, you know? It's all, it's all out the window. All right, once this eyeshadow, once I run out of this, it's like, it's over for pipes. It's over for me. Um, I'm not hopeful about it. You know, my life, I don't, it's not going to go back to normal. It's going to get very bad before it gets any better. And it's so hard 
because I'm just sitting here in my fucking, like, my house with my friends, with my people, just like, what are we going to do? Like, you know, I guess chill, sit here and chill out and ride it out. And then uh, I get a call from my mom being like, hey, Piper, hey, I think you need to come back to Denver right now because uh, shit's going to get really, really bad. And I would, uh, I think it'd be better for you to quarantine here um, at your family's house where you'll have more resources and you'll be better taken care of. And it's like, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't fucking leave where I'm at. Leave my friends. Leave, like, everything I've been working towards. Because, no, because this shit's totally going to go back to normal, right? No, but it might not. It's probably not. It's really not. Um, and I did not learn how to be a functional, capable adult um, in time for this shit. And I am not the kind of person that is in any capacity prepared for this, alright? I don't know how to grocery shop. I do not know how to properly take care of myself. I do not know how to consume the news correctly, okay? I just get overwhelmed with the fucking input of information and tend to just go along with whatever the fuck all my friends are doing and and that's just that's just what I do, you know. And then I go on I go on drug benders because and it's it, it I'm everybody knows, anybody that's ever you know that like I'm very mentally ill. Um and I, I also suffer from chronic pain. I have chronic pain and chronic mental illness. And all I've wanted is to kind of just go out into the world and prove that I can recover from that and that I can be a capable and, like, functional person that is respectable and, like, makes good shit and is, you know, a valuable, like, performer in comedy or, like, anything else that I do. And... It's kind of just, it feels like it's all over. Like, I don't, I don't know that I've got any hope left. Um, and I'm sure, you know, people will give me words of encouragement and will try to make me feel better. I just really, it just fucking sucks. I, I lost it all. I lost it all. And I don't know how this is going to turn out. And I, I would like to make some sort of content through all of this, you know, it's a sort of, like, cool, valuable content, and, like, you know, leave my message out into the world in the event that we, like, that I die, or that we all die, or, like, that it just, that some of us die, I don't, I don't know, I've been paying a lot more attention to the news lately, I've been trying to do better, um, and I don't know, I, it's, it's really lonely, I don't, I never had a partner, I never had, like a, a, a like a thing to look forward to like like real hopefulness in the in the trajectory trajectory of my career you know i never i never got the chance to like make any sort of performance or like art in my career and now i don't have a job don't qualify for unemployment and i don't even have a following as an artist really so I fucking hate it. I, I don't feel very optimistic. I feel really, really sad. Um, and I don't know. I just, I want to try. I want to try to, like, maybe get my shit together. It'd be so cool if I could actually somehow get my shit together. Um, and make something, like, meaningful and cool out of all this. And, like, I don't know. I'm trying, like, as, as, as much as I've, like, fucked up in the past and as much as I didn't do the exact right thing that I needed to do at the t exact time that I needed to do it when all this shit started, it's like, fuck, you know? Maybe, like, maybe I can come back from it. Maybe, <laughs> like, I'm not a monster or people don't think that I'm a fucking monster because whenever... The band was just 250 people or more. I went to a fucking comedy show and performed in comedy because comedy shows don't have that many fucking people, you know? Like, I I did that, and I, I interacted with some of my friends for, like, emotional sport reasons. 
whenever. I guess, yeah, at that point, we shouldn't have been doing that. And it's been really fucking hard. And I'm just, like, trying to just catch up and do the best I can and, like, follow the rules and the CDC regulation and maybe make some fucking content out of this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. I don't... I feel hopeless. Um, but maybe I won't in, like, 30 minutes. Maybe I'll... I'll record this song on the ukulele about Seattle, about my my love letter slash hate letter to Seattle. Maybe I'll record this fucking polyamory podcast. I have one episode down. Yeah, maybe it'll be really cool. I I don't know. But um, good luck with all your Facebook lives. Uh, I guess I'll fucking check back in when I have some more shit to say.